I bought this for my mom and my dad for Christmas and it was probably one of the best gifts ever because now we can send them videos and it just plugs into the wall and it holds so many pictures and they can just tap the heart and then I get a notification that they loved it and there's different settings so you can always rotate the pictures you can pause it so if you want one picture to be stuck on it it'll be stay stay on it you can also change the amount of time so like if you want it to be on for longer how do i make it go again resume i paused it to like resume it and yeah i just think it's a really great gift especially with the holidays coming up it's, you know, not small, so it's like the size of my hand, and then some. Believe it or not, I have bought the product that we are about to unbox and review three times in the past month. Today we're going to be talking about the Skylight Picture Frame. Now digital picture frames have been super popular over the course of the past five to ten years, but what makes this one very different is you can send the photos from your phone or computer directly via Wi-Fi to this picture frame. So let's open this guy up and I'll show you what's inside and how to set it up. The one thing about this digital picture frame that I like as a younger person who kind of understands tech is you can send this directly to yourself, set the entire thing up for your friend or family member, and then ship it out to them so they're not dealing with SD cards and setting up an email address and things like that. So it's, it's nice for people that don't understand this side of tech. So the first thing we see is paperwork that is actually important. And what it tells us is we have to go to rskylight.com slash activate, uh, and there will give us a six pin to put on the frame. We also have a quick start guide, information on Skylight Plus, which we'll talk about in a little bit. We'll get back to this activation very, very soon. But first, we're going to set up the frame. Not a lot of bells and whistles. We have a 10 inch picture frame. We have a power adapter. We also have a USB to power plug, as well as this little white kickstand right here. As the frame boots up, I'll just show you a little bit of what this has to offer. On the side of the frame, you can see that this is the power plug. There's also a micro USB, a regular USB, and an eighth inch audio jack. Back of the frame has a power button, a navigation station, and a menu button. It also gives you a place to hang the frame on a wall. And this hole down here is actually for our foot. All we would do is twist that in and then you're able to prop your frame up on a shelf or otherwise. So the first thing we're going to see is our Wi-Fi and we're going to go directly to my Wi-Fi, which is pretty fly for a Wi-Fi. Not original, I know. All right, so right here we have to get our activation code. So we're going to go over to the computer and I'll walk you guys through that process. So the first thing we're going to do is go to rskylight.com slash activate. And right on the front page, it asks you what product you have. We have the Skylight Frame. So the Skylight Frame email is the email that we're going to create that people are going to email their photos to this frame once it is set up in their house. So this is the setup part. Uh, that I was just talking about. So what I've done right here is created an email for the person that is getting this frame. So it's obviously tied to their name. And here we go. We just got on the screen an activation code and all we have to do is type it in. And here it goes. It says that it's linked to the email that we just created on my computer. So what we just did there was set our picture frame settings to private. That way I have to physically approve all the people that would get that email to be able to send photos to this device. So I can invite myself. I then show up on an, uh, an approval list. The people you invite would then get an email saying that they're invited to share pictures on this digital picture frame registered to that person. And uh, there it provides you with the email that's registered and you can just start sending photos to it. So let's send one and we can watch it come through the internet and show up on the frame itself. All I'm gonna do is drag and drop a bunch of pictures of my family and this should take less than a minute. And now we just wait. As that's sending from my computer through the internet back into this picture frame, there's also a payment plan. And that's when we'll talk about uh, the Skylight Plus. With Skylight Plus, you're able to uh, include captions and videos the same way that you would be sending these photos that I just showed you directly to the frame. 
uh, you could do it with video and audio and it's a nice feature but it will cost you another $39 a year. With that $39, it also gives you access to a mobile app as well as a couple other features. So here we go, the pictures just came to the frame and as they show up, it'll say tap to see new photos and uh, they will cycle through. But yeah, uh, when you tap to see new photos, it'll show you all these. You can also swipe and go back through your photos. So the touchscreen isn't bad on, on this at all. Um, and then you can also heart photos as the recipient and uh, you can mark that as you've seen them uh, but every time that you like a photo uh, the person that sent you that photo will get notified that you saw and liked that photo. So just a quick little aside if you forget to edit your photos or you're the recipient of, of one of these frames and you want to edit a photo uh, you'll always have the option to rotate the photo directly on the screen in the top right corner and once you do that obviously you can go back you can also delete a photo and one of the nice things about this is like I mentioned if you do send vertical pictures and you want to resize them to, to better fit here we'll use this one for an example to better fit the frame uh, you can go ahead and resize them right there. So at the point where they do go back and forth, the photo will show up as a full screen image. So uh, yeah, just a little aside. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe, and I hope to see you in the next video. Peace.